Behind the Force, Star Wars Voices. Star Wars Weekend's guests get a behind-the-scenes look into the magic and mastery of vocal performance. Hosted by Ashley Eckstein, the voice of Ahsoka Tano on Star Wars The Clone Wars. Ladies and gentlemen, Ashley Eckstein!
the, the clones are kept distinct uh, through uh, the magic of the writing, which is very specific about how they're different. And the, our director, Dave Filoni, who knows that some of the clones, uh, some sound younger, some are older, some are uh, a little more proper. And, and I make that adjustment mentally. And what that is, is acting. It is, is you have a very specific idea of what you want to put out, and, and you make that adjustment vocally, and it lives through the animation uh, of the brilliant team of, of, of artists and technicians that make our show. So, give us just a Captain Rex line. We got Captain you. Rex is straight ahead. You may call me Captain or Sir. And then, for instance, in our last season, Gregor was uh, a lot more hesitant at first, uh, because he didn't know that he was a clone commander until he learned at the end who he was, and he stepped up to it. He put on the armor, and he got blasted. And so you notice that the switch there is, is one of intent. Uh, and Gregor, uh, this past season, was one of my favorite clones, uh, actually. I, I, really, I really loved that story, that, that little micro story. You notice at the end, they didn't kill him off, because they liked him so much that they, they thought, let's keep this guy around. So, Maybe he died, maybe he didn't. Maybe we'll bring him back. Which, which I, 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 I sure wish they would. <laughs> beautiful, I'm not beautiful. This is me uh, uh, doing, is probably doing s cinnamon bun for Adventure Time. That wacky, crazy show. Cinnamon bun, he talks like that. He's kind of insecure. Hey, Jake. <laughs> what is that? Uh, doing a lot, of, a lot of fun shows these days. Still doing uh, Phineas and Ferb. Very yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do, I do a lot of the critters on Jake and the Neverland Pirates for Disney as well. <laughs> the, the crocodile and all the creatures and that. And we're still doing Ben 10, which is a really fun show. And um, American Dad, which is not really show. Yeah. Oh. We have some German fish fans out there. Yeah! Uh, so, yeah, so there's, there's lots and lots of fun stuff uh, that, uh, that I've, I've got to do. Um, uh, should, let's see, should, should we go off yeah. the reservation and talk about the... What should we talk about? Well, you know what? What, what's been so exciting about this past year is that oh. they've let us out of the studio. We've yes. got to do a lot of fun things as the cast of the Clone Wars. Yeah. What were some of your favorite events? We've been oh. out and about. I, I, I attended uh, Celebration 6 out here in Orlando, where I was, I was munched by a little dewback. Uh, but I got free, it was okay. Oh, the Rancor, the Rancor wasn't very nice, but, but once you feed them, they're, they're a lot more docile. But, but he's at Darth Small. You can actually get your photo here at Star Wars Weekends with the Rancor. How awesome is that Rancor? Uh, so so that, that was really fun. That was right after Star Wars Weekends. And then we got to go bowling. Yes, we did. Bowling now, clothes. I have to tell you, this was for All-Star Celebrity Bowling, for the Nerdist, to get to Chris Hartwick. And it was Team Clone Wars against Team Nerdist. And D was our ringer. We beat Team Nerdist because of D. We had a good day. We won. I think it's the only award we've ever won. Was but that, we, it was the only award. I think it's the only one we ever won. It was, it was for bowling. So that was a lot of fun. And then we got to... We got to uh, go down to the, uh, the USO base uh, down south in, in California and, uh, and perform for and thank and say hello to the families and men and women in uniform down there, which was a real incredible. There's a special connection with our show with those in the military uh, that, that I in particular feel, and that's, it, it makes you feel really good that that connects the stories of the soldiers in our show. And then, just a couple of weeks ago, they had a screening for the 30th anniversary of, since the release of Return of the Jedi. And uh, here, uh, a, a number of us assembled there at the Egyptian Theater, where it originally premiered 30 years ago in Hollywood. Uh, Hollywood, California, that is, not Florida. Uh, and, and that was exciting. There's my daughter, Cora, who, a uh, little bit of trivia, she does the voice of the legend of Cora. She does the voice of young Cora. The one who says, those are your fans, and says, I'm the Avatar, you gotta deal with it! <laughs> That's actually my daughter whose name is Cora. It's spelled C-O-R-A, not K-O-R-R-A. Well, uh, <laughs> D, it, it looks like the events have been keeping you busy, but I heard you have a new hobby. Tell us I about am. that. I am. I'm really getting into photography. I walk around, I'm not kidding about this, 
I walk around and, and post all my pictures on Instagram. I have, I, I have on my iPhone, there's a little a lens called an Olo Clip. You clip it on there, it's like 63 bucks. And you can take these awesome close-up pictures of creatures and animals, which you know that I like. Like this, this is a little, uh, a little wood louse or a really poly or pill bug. If how, you know. how would this bug sound? The, uh, if you were talking, he'd say, Here to say hello to you. <laughs> hey, Ashley. Oh my gosh. And look, it's, it's, it's Julia Roberts. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. That is terrifying. I'm in your room. They didn't clean me out. I'll see you later tonight. <laughs> and it's Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> hey, Ashley, how's it going? I got some friends. We're going to meet up with you later. Because you're walking around outside with Bill Bloom hair. A little, a little nest in your hair. <laughs> but, but, I, but, but Ashley, I, I've saved the most terrifying and frightening picture oh, that geez. I've taken for the last. These are terrifying. <laughs> see, see, these are more like a tea. That's beautiful. <laughs> anyway, I take my pictures, I post them on, on Instagram at Deep Bradley Baker, uh, and, and, and I just love taking pictures of the, of the natural real world. And uh, and I always have my camera with me, and this week, this is very exciting for me, and I'm not kidding, I don't, I don't kid about anything. <laughs> I here. hope you put it in the best the truth. I got to meet Carrie Fisher. <gasps> I can see Look at that. I'm thrilled to death, she's not so happy. <laughs> but I got to meet Carrie Fisher, and, and more than that, I got to meet Carrie Fisher's dog. Oh. <laughs> it's Gary Fisher, her dog. Yeah. How cute is that? <laughs> Gary the dog. A French bulldog who's brindle and black, who by an odd coincidence of fate, is exactly like my puppy dog. <laughs> who is a brindle, black, and chocolate brindle French bulldog. It's all coming together. My life is all coming together, <laughs> Ashley. Ah, oh, this whole week is amazing. <laughs> my little Zira. That's my little Zira. Who knows what Zira comes from? The name Zira. Tim Burton. Planet of the Apes, oh, yes! Oh. Gold star for the nerd in the orange over there. <laughs> yes! Planet of the Apes! Which is another show that's come back. It's come back from whence it was, and as is, as is Star Wars. Star Wars is coming back. I know you gotta say goodbye to the clones in the Clone Wars, uh, but it's not quite done with that yet, as you may well see here at the end of our, our little sequence yes. here. Yes. But the awesomeness that is to come, it, 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 is, it is going to be very awesome, and I am very excited about the stuff coming down the pipe from J.J. Abrams and what Disney is, is, is fixing up for you guys. It, it is going it is to be very, very exciting. Did I talk enough? Did I, did I talk enough? I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> no, this is just a behind the scenes look at what it's like to record our show. This is, this is what we do behind the scenes. It's just talk and talk and talk. But, you know, I bet there are some aspiring voice actors out there. <laughs> and I need some volunteers Ooh. to help us bring some of these amazing characters to life. So, Dee, will you go out to the audience? I'm going to need And there's a microphone right there. there. Oh. And we need somebody to be the voice of one of my favorite characters only because of his adorable little son, Stinky. He's the slimy gangster of Tatooine. Uh, we need someone to do the voice of Jabba the Hutt, Dean. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to do it. Yeah. 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 All right, stand okay, up. Okay, we're going to watch this video. Watch the video first. Oh, oh. I know that life. <laughs> So it took six different puppeteers to actually bring Jabba to life. Some of the puppeteers were inside, while others controlled his movements using remote control. When Jabba was brought on set with the other actors, he was overwhelming and larger than life. Then Ben Burt created his language called Hatties to give him a slightly more sinister tone, and that combination became the Jabba we know despise today. <laughs> I love that. I love that about Star Wars, how they put subtitles in it. I mean, do any of you remember, any of you old people like me, when you saw the original Star Wars and Greedo came on, and all of a sudden there's, there's subtitles, and I'm like a little kid going, Oh! He's an alien talking, alien talking, there's subtitles! That's awesome! <laughs>
oh, that's awesome. And they came back and did it again for Java. And here we have, is it Samantha is your name? Great, come up here, Samantha. You are about as far from Java the Hutt as I can possibly imagine. <laughs> but let's see, let's, yep. let's see if this, what Samantha's got for us in, in terms of Java. Oh, she okay. needs to give her best alien speak, <laughs> or Huttese, we should say. Okay. And we need a hearty laugh, and then we need you to say Bo Shuda. So Bo, Sh Bo Shuda, and then ha ha ha, in your biggest, boomingest voice. Ready? Bo Shuda, ha ha ha. being a Sith Lord. I want you to start, Nicholas. Oh, Nicholas, your, your last name isn't Nicholas, is it? Yeah. Okay, you're not Nicholas. Okay. All right, so start off with, uh, because all evil people have breathing problems, according to George Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a, that's a joke. I'm not making fun of people who have asthma. I have asthma, and I'm not making fun of you, okay? All right, good. <laughs> so, we want you to embrace your anger, Nicholas, and give us your best deep dark breathing sounds. <laughs> Big, loud voice. Ready? Face the audience and hear, come join me on the dark side. Come join me on the dark side. <laughs> 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 Force, and I find the lack of vocal skills 
disturbing. Don't you know the power of the dark side? I may not know the power of the dark side, Dark, but I have the power of the remote. What? What are you doing? No! someday. <laughs> Everyone, your star for the get to Woo! Thank you. Well, today, yes. you are just in time because okay. me and Dee, we're about to put on a new Star Wars and Clone Wars adventure and you can be a part of it. Well, excellent. <laughs> it's actually going to highlight some of the alien species characters from Star Ooh, Wars. Yes. It's by one of the scenes of Return of the Jedi. But first, D, James, I need three volunteers. I need someone that's going to be the voice of a Jawa, someone to be the voice of a Gamorrean guard, and someone to be the voice of Jawa's droid sentinel. Okay, okay, let's see. So I, I'll grab two, and D is getting one, or is D getting two and I'm getting one? I'll, I'll get two over here. Okay, I'll get one. So what do I need? Uh, let's see. D, who are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting a Jawa? We need okay. a Jawa, we need a Gamorrean guard, and we need a Jabba's droid sentinel. I'll get the sentinel. Okay, okay. a droid sentinel. You know, like C-3PO, but maybe a little meaner. This guy's got, okay. And his wife is like, yes. You come with me, sir. All right. I've got Jim. Watch your step. Jim, right. I've got John Good to see you. How are you? Come on back. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. All right. Oh, we got one. We got one. I'm sorry. See, now, thanks, we Ashley. Have now, I'm the bad guy going, no, Ashley, I'm sorry. Elizabeth, Obi-Wan. Good to see you. You're going to run into our studio. And right here, Which we have one? our sound engineer, Mark. Mark is going to be doing all of our sound right. Right. This is John Law Jim. John Law Jim is here. Right here. Tyler, you're over here. You can be right here, Mike. Tyler, on your uh, bike. over here. Oh, no, okay, this here. is generally how it looks when we get into a studio. There's a lot of, where do I go? Which microphone am We've I on? We've never done this show before. <laughs> this is the first time you're seeing this show anywhere. Exclusive to Star Wars Weekends, but the very first time. So let's hear it, huh? <laughs> so they don't know what they're going to read, but neither do we. <laughs> Okay, great. So, so, all right, so, so you got your parts here, and you're going to follow along. Now, here's the thing. When you do a show like this, there's all this script you get, and your parts are highlighted. See that? So that's what they're looking at right now, and they're seeing their parts for the very first time. Being a voice actor is very different than being an on-camera actor where you get to come in and look great and have all your lines memorized. No, we just take it like that. So I think the, the, they're all doing well. Just like radio shows from the past, it will be Mark's job to give us all sound effects and music cues as we present the adventure. So, Ooh. say for example, James. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So, like, okay, Mark is our, our guy. So, say I wanted, like, uh, like a blaster. Nice. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. Invisible batteries. I got some invisible batteries in my pocket over here. They're a clone. Oh, oh, I've been waiting on like Donkey Kong for a long time. Oh, oh, all right. Like this, I do. Spin around like Sam Jackson. Star Wars still. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so, all right, so let's introduce our new honorary cast members. Oh, right, yeah. We have Mike here, who's going to be playing the droid Sentinel. 
That's very important. So again, C-3PO kind of like, but uh, maybe a little edge to it because Jabba's palace. And D, who do you have over there? Here we have Tyler. Tyler is going to be a Gamorrean guard. He's going to give us some lovely pig sounds. What would that be like? Do you, I mean, can you give him any like tips or anything? Well, it's usually with an inhale, with a... <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> the kind of stuff that you do when you're driving around in a car. <laughs> and then we have Jim, right? Uh, Jim is our, our little Jawa, Jawa Jim. <laughs> Jim. Jim, can I hear a nice loud... Cast again. Can I hear a nice loud Utini from you? Utini. Look at that, Jim. Ooh, that's pretty good. Jim, you got it. You got that Jawa thing happening. <laughs> well, we're about to just get started, but let's get a mic test first. Okay, Definitely. so mic, this is your mic. So you don't want to get too close, you don't want to get too far, but just give us a little testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Ooh, very nice. And sir? One, two, three. Very nice. One, two, three. All right. I think we're all good. We're all good. Right? Yes. All we need is Tom Kane doing like a narrator or something. I think I can handle that. Oh, and may the force be with us. All right. Action. <laughs> Tales from the Clone Wars. Early in the conflict, the Jedi Knights struck an alliance with the vile gangsters of the hot criminal empire in order to secure an advantage against the evil Separatist forces. To maintain this treaty, the Jedi Council dispatches Obi-Wan Kenobi and Ahsoka Tano to the distant planet Tatooine for an audience with the powerful gangster Jabba the Hutt. Now on the lonely windswept road that winds to the Iron Citadel of the loathsome criminal, the two Jedi make their way to an uncertain appointment. I haven't been to Tatooine since Master Skywalker and I rescued Stinky. Uh, I beg your pardon? Stinky, that's what Anakin called Jabba's son Rada. I've got the impression Anakin isn't very fond of the Huts. Yes, well, perhaps that's why he opted out of this mission. Maybe, but he usually prefers taking action over bookkeeping. Sorry, uh, bookkeeping? Yeah. Instead of coming with us, he stopped reviewing stacks of intelligence reports with Senator Amidala. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with Padme? Really? Yes. From the sounds of it, they're going to be working, they're going to have to spend the whole week together working side by side to make any progress. <laughs> Curious. Uh, tell me, Ahsoka, does Anakin take on a lot of these missions with Padme? <laughs> I'm counting. But let's try to focus on the mission at hand. I hope you've been practicing your hatids. We're about to find out. Well then, be my guest. I guess we've got luck. Jidai Ahsoka Tanwa, Bo Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Tuta Mishku da Jabba the Hutt. Uh, uh, what she said. <laughs> well, that's why they call me the negotiator. I said that's why they call me the negotiator. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> the massive sand blasted gate to Jabba's palace opens revealing a long, dark passageway into the heart of the criminal den. Ahsoka and Obi-Wan bravely venture forth and are soon met by the grotesque sentries that patrol Jabba's territory. You will take us to Jabba now. I said, you will take us to Jabba now. Well, any tips, Mr. Negotiator? Mm, perhaps you should snort politely. <laughs> okay, we don't have time for this. You will take us to Java now. <laughs> I don't get it. That usually works. No, it works on the weak mind, Ahsoka, not on the mind less. <laughs> Diwana Wanka. Diwana Wanka. Finally, someone with brains to talk to. 
We are emissaries from the Jedi Order. We bring greetings for Jabba the Hutt. And a gift. A gift? Yes, a gift that it, if we won't... Ooh, I say, a gift. <laughs> yes, the gift is that we won't cause any trouble if everyone cooperates. Nijaba no bata ese uto mechata sukuti nucha. Well done, Padawan. Obi Wan and Ahsoka step into the tank bustle of Jabba the Hutt's throne room. The smoky parlor is filled alcove to alcove with all manner of bizarre life forms and strange tourists from distant lands. Uh, this place hasn't improved with time. Remember this diplomacy, Ahsoka. We are guests here. I know. Any last minute advice? <laughs> yes, no deep breaths in here. You don't need to remind me. I could never get that smell of stinky out of my backpack. Did it the Marichi? Hands off my lightsaber, bright eyes, or I'll teach you some manners. <laughs> The Hutt's pasty face Major Domo scuttles to the throne to delicately inform the crime lord of business. And from the crowd emerges one of Jabba the Hutt's countless worker droids. Ah, a new acquisition. You must be the property our master has ordered. <clears throat> Let's see, where are you? <laughs> I made a little jump there ahead. <laughs> my really my, the my script is different, but that's alright. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's voiceovers, so you can mess up all you want. Yes. Just edit it out. <laughs> okay, I believe we're on page six then. Yes, yeah, excuse six. me. Oh. Soka says, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. The mighty Java has been looking for angels to replace our last dancer since we insert. You are a fit specimen. Please report to the trailer droid for a fitting of your dancing outfit. <laughs> Back off, Glitchhead. I'm no dancer. I'm here on Jedi business. I was referring to the far better toned, graceful looking specimen. <laughs> 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 Stop laughing, Ashley. It's your line. Wait, it's my line. Oh, it is. Oh, Anakin's really gonna wish he came on this mission. After you, Your Grace. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Some gifts as official. Oh, I like the outfit. That's very nice. I've seen that. That's very nice. Uh, signed by all of us and some, some coins here. And let's hear it one more time for our fantastic. Thank you guys. Great job. Well done. That's good to see you. Well done. All right. Great story. Yeah, pretty good, right? Well, that was fun to be the voice of the sofa for one more time. You nailed those, by the way. Those are, that was perfect. The guy with the weird. No, they nailed. They were great. Yeah. Awesome. They, I've been picking. Were... I, I spent four and a half years picking people out of a crowd to do Disney shows a while back in my life, so I'm used to that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? We are not done yet huh? because up on these video screens, we have a very special announcement from Clone Wars Supervising Director Dave Filoni. What, what? What's it going to be? Ooh. Hey, Star Wars fans, I'm Dave Cloney, the Supervising Director of Star Wars The Clone Wars, and I hope you're having a great time at Disney's Star Wars Weekends. I know I always do, and every time I come uh, down to Florida, or every time we have Star Wars Weekends, I like to show you guys something you've never seen before, and something exclusive just for you all for coming to Star Wars Weekends. So what have I got this time? I've got a little clip that deals with our little green friend, uh, Master Yoda. It delves a little bit into uh, Yoda's relationship with Anakin Skywalker and what that was like and what Yoda thinks of him. So I, I think stuff you guys are going to love. And uh, I hope you enjoy this exclusive clip made special just for you guys at Disney Television. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> 
because he was confined to quarters for some mysterious reason in a Clone Wars episode that we have not yet seen, that apparently we'll be seeing at some point soon. And they're the first people to ever see it, right this here, right now. This is, the, this is the source of great hope to me, a great hope, a new hope, that there is more Clone Wars content coming our way somehow, that there is a new, awesome movie by J.J. Abrams that will revive the Star Wars franchise in a way un un unheard of before. Can I hear from you? The best of Star Wars is soon to be. Let me hear you say that. <laughs> the best of Star Wars is soon to be. Louder! <laughs> Same way, but inside I'm like the little boy of 13 years old whose mommy and daddy made him a Jawa costume back in 1977. Yes, absolutely. Very excited about what is to come. And we are excited you came to Behind the Force today. Thank you so 